So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. And I've been hit by it too. a really instinctive stop too great reflexes to make it happen I thought he showed class there Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Oh, this has been such a positive approach from them in the early part of this game. Everybody is programmed to get forward, and despite a couple of failed attempts, they are the better side. Yamalenko. Well, I think it was a little difficult for him to pick exactly the right option there, there were so many in the box, I don't think we should be totally surprised that he actually went for the shot in the end. Cacciarini. It is deadlocked. Looks like a good ball through. Hits one! And he's there to hoof it away. And it's Silva. Slimani passes it through. Goal! Sporting! There is the breakthrough! All over in seconds. That's what they can do to you. That's just brilliant counter-attacking football. And as soon as possession was theirs, it triggered a move of devastating speed that was just too hot to handle. Lisbon break the deadlock. But we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. So they've got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Tries to stroke it through. Rui Patricio deals with it effortlessly. Jao Pereira. Belanda gets into the right position to intercept. That's a pop! And he nearly went all the way. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away. And I suppose at least he showed the best option, just didn't come off.
managed to get it away. Xiao Pereira looking up to see who wants it. Brian Ruiz pumps it into the area. Really well taken goal. And already they're looking to run away with it. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Lisbon get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a tolerizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Yarmolenko with the ball through. The shot's on! And in it goes! Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal! Great reactions in front of goal, he just saw what was on. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they can sense a comeback here and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. The first 45 minutes are up. Sporting Lisbon head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. <laughs> again Belanda pumps it forwards William Carvalho Brian Ruiz who's going to make this theirs looks to slip it through well he would surely have scored there more times than not Slimani tries a through ball and he's cut it out. Just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Sporting Lisbon had to make a change here. Yarmolenko. It's long and forward. Slimani can't hurt you with his back to goal and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that so I think they're defending him very very well Morosiuk Now the pass played out wide one way of trying to make things happen there's a few who could follow that example tries a through ball well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there 
Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. It was, uh, it was a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Ball's out on the left, now. They need a bit more urgency in their play, time is ticking away. Sporting Lisbon just... Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. <laughs> Fence has got rid of that. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Goes long, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. There is the final whistle. Sporting Lisbon have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Oh, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very congested, lots of traffic going on, but it wasn't a problem for them. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.